All right, just a quick video refuting Kenneth Copeland's bizarre doctrine that Adam is actually God. But it's not surprising considering the fact that Kenneth Copeland is a blasphemous, Luciferian, charismatic heretic who proclaimed himself as God and said God is the biggest failure in the Bible and everything else. So it's not surprised. The guy is possessed by devils. So of course he's going to come up with all this bizarre, wacky stuff. And of course, one of which is this Mormon heresy that Adam is God. More great fruit from the whole charismatic cult that Kenneth Copeland runs. Here's a clip of him teaching this bizarre doctrine. God's reason for creating Adam was his desire to reproduce himself. I mean a reproduction of himself. And in the Garden of Eden, he did that. He was not a little like God. He was not almost like God. He was not... Um, subordinate to God even. And Adam is as much like God as you could get. Just the same as Jesus when he came into the earth, he said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. He wasn't a lot like God. He's God manifested in the flesh. And I want you to know something. Adam in the Garden of Eden was God manifested in the flesh. Yeah. If you still follow Kenneth Copeland after, these, after you've seen these videos, I feel sorry for you. You never really get born again because Nobody with the Spirit of God would believe such demonic, you know, blatantly unscriptural false doctrine, okay? On to the scriptural refutation of this bizarre error that Adam is God, okay? First of all, Adam is a created being. Luke chapter 3, verse 38, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God, okay? Notice the lowercase s, son of God. Adam was a created being. Jesus Christ is the uppercase s, son of God, because... He's not a created being like Adam is. Okay, and if you want proof of that, the fact that Adam is not God, and he is a created being, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 45, down to verse 49. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul, and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit, that was not the first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthly, the second man is of the Lord from heaven, that's talking about Jesus Christ, and the first man is obviously Adam. As is the earthly, such are they that uh, sorry, such are they also that are earthly, and as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have become as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Good uh, verse talking about being conformed to the image of Christ. Right now we're in these corruptible bodies of flesh. We're made after the image of Adam. Wait, I thought we were made after the image of God. Hang on a second. Let's look at the Word of God. We are made in the image of God, but the problem is Adam fell. So we are now in the image of that fallen man. That's the big difference. We have borne the image of the earthly. So we shall bear the image of the heavenly. We're conformed to the image of Christ, like it talks about in Romans 8. But that's when we get to heaven. Okay? Uh, we have borne the image of the earthly. Again, we are made in the image of Adam in these corruptible bodies of flesh. Okay? Uh, for uh, Genesis chapter 5, verse 1 to 3. This is scripture. This is not just feelings and opinions like the charismatic movement. Uh, for uh, Genesis 5, verse 1 to 3. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him, male and female, created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam. And in that day, uh, when they were created, again, the created, and Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. Okay? We have borne the image of the earthly. We, we have these corruptible bodies of flesh. First Corinthians, First Corinthians 15 talks about that. And we're conformed to the image of Christ. That's when we have the image of the heavenly. Adam is not God. But then again, this follows Kenneth Copeland's Luciferian doctrine of, you know, when I, when I read I am, I know I am. You know, just that blasphemous charismatic heresy coming from the devil-possessed lunatic Kenneth Copeland. And yeah, if I sound like I'm harsh, I am. The guy is a blasphemer. He's a wicked false prophet taking souls to hell with him. I have nothing nice to say about anybody who just blasphemes the Lord in such wicked ways of proclaiming themselves of God, proclaiming the gospel of Luciferianism, as I've shown in my other video. So don't be deceived by this charismatic cultist, Kenneth Copeland. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.